Today we want to begin talking about uh, human tissues and we'll look at those in a little more detail and then we want to end with uh, the organs and systems, kind of give you an overview of what uh, will be covered in the remainder of this chapter as well as uh, future chapters. So the term histology uh, is the uh, study of tissues and there are like uh, muscle tissue, bone tissue, uh, the tissue that makes up blood vessels, the brain, and things like that. Those would be examples of different kinds of uh, tissues. So let's look at uh, a little bit of this. Uh, we have vascular tissue, and vascular tissue is the tissue that makes up blood vessels, your arteries, your veins, and your capillaries. And then we have a tissue that is without blood vessels. And for instance, like uh, the cornea of your eye has no blood vessels in it, and that allows it to be clear so that you can see well. So avascular just means without blood vessels. Most tissue does have blood vessels, so we call it vascular. Now, of the types of tissues, we have connective tissues. And uh, connective tissues uh, could include the bone, uh, the blood, lymph, which is uh, a fluid that we'll have to talk about a little bit more when we talk about the circulatory system. And then we have tendons, then we have fat, cartilage, um, are kind of like the main types of connective tissues. Now, most of these tissues um, contain a matrix. And uh, matrix is actually non-living material that surrounds uh, the cells that, uh, the connective tissue cells. Uh, so they, these uh, connective tissue cells aren't necessarily touching each other, but they're kind of spread out throughout this matrix. Uh, that gives them their uh, special properties. So the uh, mat uh, tissues that contain matrix would be like the bone. And then we have, and it's solid, as you would imagine. And then we have cartilage and tenons that are semi-solid. They're pretty, st they're st stiffer, or they're less flexible, obviously, than a bone, but they do allow some uh, change in their shape. And then in the uh, connective tissue that contains a matrix would be the blood. The blood cells are not all next to each other. There is uh, a matrix of uh, liquids and other materials that we find in our blood. Epithelial tissues uh, consists of layers of cells that uh, cover or they line some external surface as well as the internal surfaces of organs and blood vessels. So they, they're found on, like on the outside of the body or the outside of an organ, but also uh, lining maybe the, the inside of an organ that's more like hollow. The epithelial cells uh, vary in thickness from just like a single layer, like you would have in a capillary, to many layers like you have with that uh, in the skin that is, you have on the outside of your body. And the epithelial cells of the skin are bound tightly together, and that makes a great uh, protective barrier uh, from disease and injury. Uh, they are also uh, lined, we said, the capillaries, and they allow substances to pass through them. And some of the epithelial cells have very specialized functions and structures. So if you take some of the, the uh, epithelial cells and you magnify them, you, uh, here you see them right adjacent to each other. They're really close together. Then we have muscle tissue, 
and muscle tissue is composed of cells that con contract. They have, they have a special property that they can actually get, become shorter. And by contracting these muscles, either move a body uh, part or they move substances through the body, like moving your arms and legs or uh, like the muscles that make up the heart will move a substance through the body, like blood. And the human body contains uh, three types of muscle cells. There are skeletal muscles, and there are smooth muscles, and there are cardiac muscles. Skeletal muscles are the ones that move your uh, joints and limbs. Smooth muscles are the muscles that we often find uh, in our digestive system, that, uh, like in the stomach and intestine walls where they can contract and 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 then cardiac obviously are specialized uh, muscle cells that uh, help our uh, heart to pump blood and here is a picture of uh, the other kind of uh, nervous tissue and that is i mean this is a, a cell from nervous tissue and it contains cells that uh, can receive and transmit uh, electrochemical impulses from a muscle to a muscle uh, to glands and they also are connected to other cells to carry uh, a, a, a signal from let's say a sensory organ all the way to the brain or back to the spinal column or something like that and the nervous tissue can includes the brain the spinal cord and all the other nerves that you have in your body So let's kind of look at uh, an overview of what we just talked about to kind of give you a little, uh, see how they all kind of fit together. So bone, cartilage, uh, dense fibrous connective tissue, loose fibrous connective tissue, adipose or fat cells, blood, lymph, um, and then we have uh, hematopoietic uh, are the blood forming cells. All of these are considered uh, connective ty types of tissues. So their job is to connect, to support, uh, to protect, and also to store certain substance. Then we have epithelial cells. Uh, we have some that are avascular. Remember we said that they are maybe like a s single layer uh, and they are, but they don't have any blood vessels inside of them. And then we also have those that are vascular. They do have blood vessels that are within them to nourish them. Uh, so those are epithelials. Their, their job is to cover, to line, to protect, to secrete, to absorb, to filter. Then we have muscle tissue that we uh, talked about. We have skeletal, visceral, that was all the smooth muscle that I talked about, and then cardiac. Uh, their job is to move things and support things. Some of your muscles support, you know, like when you're standing up, their job is to support you so that you can stand upright instead of just falling into a, a heap. And then we have nervous tissue. Their job is for irritability. They conduct nerve impulses and thoughts and emotions. And all these things make up uh, the... Uh, the nervous tissue. Now, tissues of the body are organized into organs and are organized into uh, uh, systems as well. Organs with related functions are grouped together into systems. So if you remember that systems had just a common func uh, tissues just had a common function that they that they do, and then when you have different kinds of tissues working together, you have an organ, and then when you have organs with related functions grouped together, you make it makes up a system. So here are the human organ systems that we're going to be studying in uh, this chapter. And uh, we have, in this chapter, we're covering integumentary, uh, integumentary and skeletal and muscle uh, 
And then in the next chapter, we're going to cover the respiratory system and the digestive system. And then the following chapter is circulatory and lymphatic, because they kind of go together. And then 22 is just the excretory system all by itself. 23 is just the nervous system all by itself. 24 uh, will be the endocrine system. And then 25, if we get that far this year, will be the reproductive system. So you can see what each one is about. The integumentary is the skin, skeletal is the bones, muscle, muscular system or the muscle system is obviously the muscles, respiratory system are the, have to do with the lungs, digestive are the stomach and intestines, circulatory system is the heart and the blood vessels, lymphatic are, uh, you probably have heard of lymph nodes, uh, they filter out uh, lymph, which is uh, the fluid that was, that seeps out of the, the uh, blood into around the, the various cells of the body and nourish it and uh, help fight disease and things like that. Uh, the excretory is, are your kidneys. The nervous system is going to be your brain and your spinal cord. Uh, and then all the nerves that run run, fr run out from that. And then we have the endocrine system. These are the ones that secrete the hormones that we've referred to at various times throughout uh, our semester. And then we have the reproductive systems, the ovaries, the uterus, and the testes that uh, help make uh, or help produce offspring. And that takes us to the end of our section today.